Automated machinery combined with old-fashioned labor, this is what manufacturing in Guangdong looks like today. The province's industrial investment growth rate reached 23 percent, with manufacturing growth surpassing that of the entire nation by 12 percentage points. A lot of that comes down to Guangdong's ability to adapt, transform and upgrade its traditional industries. Since the years of reform and opening up, Guangdong has always placed a focus on manufacturing. For example, our vehicle mode manufacturing industry has always been a top leader. In places like Dongguan and Foshan, there is a focus on further developing manufacturing industries, including equipment. Guangdong also attracts high-level talents, and they support the development of the entire industry. Vision Tooling Group, a local private enterprise, serves both domestic and global markets. And earlier in June, the company received new machinery to manufacture cases for lithium batteries placed in NEVs. The backbone of their success, Guangdong's first half economic recovery and performance. In terms of economic recovery, Guangdong has responded quickly. Our company was one of the first to resume global operations, and that's because of the province's policies. Many foreign customers have come back to visit us, so we should maintain this openness. Support for the private economy's recovery has also been helpful, specifically the government's support for the new energy sector, which is boosting consumption levels and promoting rapid recovery. Though business remains steady and on the rise for Vision Tooling Group, China's top leadership has been unwavering in its pursuit to improve the economy. Analysts also see areas of improvement in how businesses plan for the medium to long term. Now they have to diversify the, the customer bases, right? To look at the, 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 the open the market in the Asian countries, Asian countries, and the Middle East countries, African countries, and the South American countries. As economics, we, we try to emphasize to the to the entrepreneurships, entrepreneurs, and they have to, to be treat those market, emerging markets importantly, as well as the traditional developer countries. Still, geopolitics and global economic headwinds remain and can't be ignored. And with China only seven months removed from pandemic restrictions, there's plenty of anticipation and expectation as the country's economy heads into the second half of the year.